for a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more. You're listening to the BCC Podcast. It is Sunday, January 12th of 2020, and you're listening to episode 219 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and here with me today is Malaris. It feels like the first podcast of 2020, except we already had that, I think, but it's just that one sucked really badly. It did? So. It did? Why? What happened? It wasn't that bad, was it? I was on it, and I don't even know what happened to make it suck. Oh. I thought it was actually right, pretty good. Well, we already well. know one of the issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also here with Leo. <laughs> oh, don't be so pessimistic, Mal. This is As optimism for today, not <laughs> yes. You know, you I'm looking to <laughs> live my life, not. <laughs> We killed a ride. <laughs> Tyler's episode. We killed Ryan. Ryan. I just threw up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Keep recording. <laughs> this is comedy gold. Ryan you don't know, get this dies. all on film. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you okay? We're laughing at his suffering. That's because he makes such a good show of it. I'm not. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, like Orion, you are kind of a drama queen. Love you, Orion. Like, I got, like, <laughs> By the way, hello, Orion. You're on the podcast. Too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, sorry, Leo got introduced or something? <clears throat> yeah, now you were introduced. Okay. Hey, hello, guys, Orion. I'm Orion. I'm really edgy. <laughs> Ouch. <clears throat> Just continue while I clean up the... Okay. <laughs> what did you just like lay waste to the room? <laughs> no, I, I just on the exorcism, floor, like, just vomit. You it's know, not a lot. It's just a, it's just a little bit, and I'm not taking a picture of the either. Not like, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to put a picture on the overlay of? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The audience no, has to I, see what no, your vomit looks post like. Post a picture of my throat. Up, it's gonna be like Instagram or something. <laughs> Do you even have an Instagram? Yeah, I've had one for like a year. I have like two followers. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's okay. more than well, I have. I think I got all of it. All right. Good. See, that Epic. wasn't actually a genuine barf. I just. I made myself throw up to pad for time because we don't have a lot of content. <laughs> Wow. Way to go. Way to go. Okay, yeah, it's all clear now, I think. Speaking of content... Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, um, actually, we do have something interesting. (coughs) So, the third 2019 idea sets are being reviewed right now, so... Oh boy. Of course... There's Don't we have lot... some lovely ones? Can I just well, say I don't like the Bionicle one? What? I don't like the Bionicle one. Of course you don't. That's fine, it's... but you're wrong. It... Come on. Look, <laughs> if we're being honest, we'd all rather have the Ratatouille. Well, mm, no. Mm, no. Do you actually want Ratatouille, Ryan? Well, I or oh wait, I, it's so small. I just saw it was ratatouille. I thought that was cool. I don't know. It might be <laughs> awful. I haven't really looked at it. So Way maybe we should uh, look at these one by one. You know, that build sounds up like a good idea. Some, build up. Let's start off for some from the top. Suspense. First, we have the uh, Queen. I want to break free. By Hans Sprickstein and why? <clears throat> Also, uh, first... Is this based on a music video? <laughs> yes. Yes. It, total missed opportunity not calling it I Want to Brick Free. Just saying. Har, har, har. This is why he isn't a Lego designer. <laughs> well, no, why? that's not why, but... <laughs> okay. It's just... Why would you want this it's so weird like, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's not so specific really, 
So with the Beatles, they had the Yellow Submarine set, right? And that was yeah. uh, well, that was repre- really representative of their group. You kinda, could have even done know? like uh, like Abbey Road, little uh, like kind of you know. Yeah, that would have made an interesting little Lego set. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to be honest. I had to look this up to figure out what it was. Well, I want to break free. Is is one of their music videos and one of their well, songs. Well, I understand that, but, but I don't I understand think what, of how this evoked so, this scene like, initially. Like when it, I think of Queen, I don't think of their music videos. I just think of well, their the only music, music video for again, Queen I think like, of is when Freddie Mercury is bare chested on the stage singing "Black the Dust." <laughs> We need, oh, like, too, yeah. small yellow, but it's just small mercury. But that's not really, like... <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but also now, whenever I think of Freddie Mercury, I just think of those videos that Orion keeps telling me about. about oh, the, about Freddie, Freddie Mercury, Mercury crushed just doing by things. hydraulic press. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Pressure pushing down on me. <laughs> like, throws Wii Remote out of the window. Mama! <laughs> <laughs> or, or or where he's uh where he's in in the school and he gets a bad grade and he's like i want to die <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay i'm all right <laughs> oh boy but again i i think the general consensus here is that this set doesn't really represent queen and like it doesn't it speak to... It looks really plain, too. Like, it's put together pretty well for, you know, an amateur, I guess. Or not it's, amateur. It's, not amateur, but I mean, it's put together pretty well, but it's not terribly it's interesting. It's very, like, basic looking. Yeah, it's a simple diorama of a, of a living home, room. 70s home. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this could it's, have been the Seinfeld set, just replace the characters. Like, with the Beatles, you put out the yellow submarine... And the Beatles in private, you get oh the Beatles, and like, this is like in this one you just no, get random. No this one doesn't have the same display kind of speaking out. Oh, that's Queen, you know. What that's... even like is is symbolic of Queen outside of like shirtless Freddie Mercury? Well, there's always Flash. Ah, I, I don't know what that is. Highlander. Ah. I don't know. Maybe. Come on. What other movies have they done? <laughs> Queen. Well, yeah. What other movies did the have they done theme for, for the Transformers the movie? <laughs> that, that <laughs> Nothing that says on. Queen like a friggin' what? giant mech uh, explosion toy or something. I don't know. You nothing like says, nothing man, says right? Queen like a giant Transformer truck. Right. Well, yeah. Uh, not I want to move on to the next set. All right, let's <laughs> this go set on to... makes me realize that we're living in a society. This Seinfeld supposed to act this in a gives me way. depression. <laughs> I've never seen uh, Seinfeld myself, so someone might be more qualified than me. To well, talk here's about the thing: this. I think this captures the essential theme of the show, which is like it. This set is nothing. It says about. Oh, nothing. well, except as a show, that's a great like kind of interesting humorous philosophical premise for a lego set not so much it's just kind of piggybacking off of the the friends yeah it it definitely is thing and the office come on guys friends isn't that good (laughs) yeah well it's just kind of a show sadly though i feel like that's the one that's gonna win just because seinfeld has so many fans yeah i i do admit though that I would like a George Costanza minifigure. <laughs> Don't say that. Why? No. It might actually come true. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Okay, well, this, this is next set is track. actually hold on, hold on, hold on. Let interesting. Me, let me take us off track for a moment. No. Okay. Okay. Did y'all, no, did no, y'all we ever, got time. We got time. Yeah, we got time. <clears throat> did y'all ever watch uh, that, that video where it was... The Joker trailer, but with George Costanza in it instead of yeah, Joker I saw Daryl. that. Yeah, no, nope. we are living that. in a society. <laughs> yeah, you just want to okay, do that, don't you? Yeah. yeah, of course. We need a Joker stairs Lego ideas set. We do. 
<laughs> See, this what is if we, iconic. What, what if we put our custom minifigures together on the Joker stairs? You know, Bruh. Yes. what if we brick <laughs> film kidding. on the Joker stairs? Can you still recall in the jukebox hall with music playing? All right. All right. So this next set, I actually like a lot. It's the, uh, of course you do. Breath of the Wild uh, stable, you know, that's it, anything that reminds eh. me of the medieval village set from forever ago gets a pass from me i i like that mm. well, i'm not convinced look breath of the wild is like my favorite video game but i just don't think it needs to be it immortalized <laughs> in what, this way whatever uh, whenever people say that breath of the wild is my favorite video game it just makes me think they have like the most basic taste possible yes. hey i mean i have hey. the most basic taste possible and i've never even played breath of the wild but it's like my favorite video game the is mario which like one it it's no it's just it's... mario that's the only game i've played look look <laughs> it's not because i'm like a huge zelda fan or anything i kind of am but <laughs> it's because it's just the most unadulterated form of adventure uh, adultery no we can't get. No. if i if i, want I said that, though, unadulterated ver- ford version if i want adventure. that though i'll just play moral wind Speaking of adulterated, Leo sent me oblivion for a Christmas present. Just fall over yourself and die. (laughs) I don't know if I'll play it. You should. And then the diseased monsters come after you, Leo, and they they disease you, and then you turn into a monster. Just like, just like what happened to Ford after he saw the Last Jedi. (laughs) Look at me now! Look what it's done to me! No, the poison is filling my veins with hatred. Luke's frothy, milk-covered mouth. Look what it's done to me! <laughs> Man. <laughs> but the thing I'm on Galaxy's Edge. That, I it. want that as a set. Just a Luke getting that milk, you know? <laughs> a, a bust of of the, Just, of the milk. Card. No, not small yellow, like like medium sized walrus or something. <laughs> Can, can't it just be like a mosaic of green mouth, milk, like not green small frost. yellow? <laughs> well, at least my favorite video game is The Last of Us. So, <laughs> well then, <laughs> well, because we all know that's overrated. The problem I'm seeing with uh, this set is that Nintendo does have a license agreement with like uh, Mega Bloks, I think. I thought it was Connects. Maybe I thought it was uh, Creo. I thought it was Lepin. Mega Bloks. I thought they passed it on there. Did they pass it on? I thought they did. I'd Maybe not. They, they very well could have. And if that's the case, then this would be another office type situation where we have this set, yeah. but no matter how much we want it or how much it's uh, passed through, it won't actually get finalized due to that licensing yeah. disagreement. I mean, it looks nice, but I don't, I, I don't know. I, it's not in the cards. No, after I get some polish, and you know, I, I like it'll look a lot, not a lot different, but it'll look a little bit more compact and stuff. Once it, I mean, yeah, like yeah, it'll it'll get yeah. smoothed out. It won't be as pokey looking. It'll be pretty nice, I think. I definitely don't think it would be the entire thing. So, mm, I, don't I know. think it'd probably be a facade. At most, yeah, I think uh, it'd be like. They'd have to cut it in half, essentially, like it from the back, so that you know you get to interact with the inside of it. Right. It's not like there's that much going on on the inside anyway. But so. they have to do it. It's Lego. Come on. What do you mean they have? To? They always split things in half oh, so no. that you can see the inside oh. of it. Oh, yes. they have to do it. Yes. Ah. Uh, Lego is uh, just straight up Terraria uh, at this point. No one gets that, man. Nope. nope. This is why we had the no reference rule. That oh, well, I Leo. thought it's like saying it's like Minecraft. I thought you guys would get it. Terraria is pretty big. It's like, fine, whatever. Ugh. Is it though? Well, yes. Is it? <laughs> fine. All right. Well, then next up we have the uh, Planet Express delivery ship. Mm, the Green Submarine. Uh, the other Beatles band. 
Yes, the other Beatles. This is the lobsters. Of course. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the lobsters. The, the ants. The pill bugs. <laughs> the, the bugs. Did you, did you listen to Adam Ant, Ryan? What? Adam Ant. Yeah, it's, it like I, a new wave one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that, that was. Uh, I'm cartoon. pretty sure he was a new wave artist. No. <laughs> Adam and the Ants, something like that. I have no. It's Adam Ant. I'm pretty sure. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Futurama is a show that now, exists. Le- Lego. When they see this, like, all right, this is good, but what if we cut it in half? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how the system works, but okay, no, I will no, take it. No, okay. no, what if we works. cut it in half, but it's, like, the sideways way, so you can kind of open it and close it, you know? It's like a cross-section, you're saying? Cross-section. What if we cut it cross-sectioned? Or, or, what if we don't release sets like what this? What if we just make it really tiny, and then we just don't have what any features on the inside? What if we just don't make this set... Uh, I'm what not too hot on it. Wait, Lego's know. like, Honestly, like, okay, this is this I've... is good, but what if we make it yellow? <laughs> what if we and put miniature. it underwater? Yeah, and... I mean, it is good, but do we really need a Futurama set? Oh, that's uh, what that is? is. It's Futurama. Yeah, so, it's Futurama. Oh, so, like, like, where's the minifigs? First off, like, yeah, as a fan, it's not you a Lego have set to have if the minifigs. No not just the set, you know. I mean, because... they they can't pass up the whole "shut up and take my money" meme, right? Yeah. But also, like Futurama, honestly, it's not even that good of a show anyway. Yeah, th- this is what I feared. Well, I don't know who would buy it though. There's not a lot of set, Futurama no. Lego fans. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. It is a lot of sand green pieces, which would mean slime would be happy. That it contribute to a Squidward mech, but oh, still, no. <laughs> Squidward mech. Yeah, this, this set Army. does not uh, speak to me. So, okay. we got the Ratatouille open the door, so. Uh, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. On closer exp- inspection, I still kind of like it. Well, it's good that you like something, Orion. I mean, not. It's like not a lot. Goodness, Wait, man. Orion it's not like I like something? it a lot. What? Where's the rats? Uh, the rats? Yeah. Where yeah. is it? Rats? Oh, it's on his shoulder. Okay. He's got one on his shoulder, and I think What's there's the rat's probably name? Remy or something. Yeah, Remy. Uh, okay. No, no, no uh, the rat's name is Ratatouille. Well. Get it right. <laughs> Why do they even call it ratatouille anyway? Because that, that's that's the, that's the final dish. Yeah, Linguini just dish. murders no, Remy that, in a, a blind quote. fit of rage and serves it to Anton Ego. <laughs> and it reminds him of his childhood. <laughs> and, and he's like, it, came, it zooms in on his face, and it's his mother chopping up rat heads in the kitchen and wait, throwing wait, the bodies wait, what's in the, the boil. Last thing that and he's like, Ego I don't want to like, eat it. And he just has like, he, like a he, like, PTSD. Goes up to him, he's like, surprise flashback. me. And then he's like, well, guess I'll die. <laughs> Linguini gives everyone the plague. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a surprise. There you go. Yeah, I you know I didn't like some parts of Ratatouille because it 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 felt like the movie was was trying to like the rat should have been a a metaphor for something instead of just being like actual rat characters because it was <laughs> kind of weird, like uh, but it, I like the what like, saves it though is the montages man with like the the French music you know da, 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 da. and like they're like they're cooking and you you know you can like smell it that's what makes the movie so you you're saying you don't like the parts where the rats are like kind of talking but then well, the rats cuz i i like to me with it's the like humans, they don't i don't i don't talk. get what the whole what what purpose did like remy like it it just seems kind of disconnected. Like I don't get why. Like it would have been interesting if it was more about Linguini and less about Remy. I feel like because, <laughs> well, well, because with the relationship that they have together, it'd be more interesting if this was like Remy's like 
psyche or if it was more like magic realism than the rats are just actually sentient beings that know how to cook like i i don't know what point that serves in the film other than relating to children because children like talking animals i don't get what the purpose of making them rats were Uh, it's to show that anyone can cook but but (laughs) Uh, including the rats Uh, that invest their kitchen huge disconnect between like the human and the rat type of things like it starts out with the rats then it's it's human for a while the rats aren't speaking you're getting used to them just being you know okay somewhat intelligent rat that can cook but yeah. he's not, you know. But see how bizarre that is. It's like except... what what purpose? It's so bizarre. I don't understand why, though. Like, but I think the fact that rats are, you know, considered to be one of the most filthy animals, that but, that's supposed but, to go contrary to the representation that anyone can cook. But see, that's why it so, would make more sense if it was more focused on Linguini, and then the rat was like. Not saying that he has to hallucinate the rat, but let's say it's more of like a magic realism, like Winnie the Pooh. Not like the tone of the newer Winnie the Pooh, but you know what I mean, like that kind of. But to where it's more about the people's perception, other people's perception of Linguini, because Linguini already em- embodies that that type. You know, he's lower class. He's not, you know, some great chef, and he's not a good chef either. But this rat kind of comes into his life and starts showing him how to cook and stuff and it makes more sense from that perspective than a, a like the main character is a literal rat who knows how to cook really well and controls linguini through his hair like there's no thematic correlation between linguini and his relationship with remy at all it, it, it like for all intents and purposes every person in the movie like all the characters could have been rats essentially and you could have had it take place in like rat paris instead i don't know why that, like it just it's it's kind of infuriating to me because it's it's so weird i don't get it i'm maybe small brain it's not supposed to you know like i know speak it's to you may, yeah maybe it doesn't speak to me i just don't understand it's the too choices deep there. for you right it, it now just, um, i guess it just feels like it was just that decision was just made so it could be an animated movie for kids because kids don't want to just go see a show about people cooking like and it, like it ratatouille i think could have been like this great amazing masterpiece if it, if it had been more like adult oriented or at least towards more ma- mature audiences not like r-rated ratatouille but just like keep the same <laughs> tone Remy Remy kills keep the same Lin- tone and just go at it at the angle cooking. that it, you know, it's more of a he kills Linguini and tone. takes like takes control of his nerve endings. Because like so can, you have like, to admit though, him, like a puppet, kids would not want to watch Ratatouille if the rats weren't such a huge part of it. Like no kid would want to go watch something about just adults cooking and forming relationships and stuff about art and you know art critique and stuff. Kids just wouldn't watch that. See, Pixar does a lot more kind of adult oriented stuff in a oh, way definitely. but they also have that angle to that, catch it's like their kids. crutch it's like their crutch it's like the soul trailer it's like okay this looks interesting and then you have like like this little spirit like farts or something and then does a cowboy <laughs> dance and everyone has like this long exaggerated nose for no reason i don't i don't understand oh please kill me <laughs> i haven't that's the point of that movie it's about. like Inside I, the out, point of that movie is to suck my watch. soul out. <laughs> I I mean, I think the first wave of Pixar movies when they were they oh, yeah. planned out everything the... when they were still Pixar independent from Disney up to like Wall-E and Up, like well, and, and Ratatouille. Those were right? yeah, those were really good at ca- like Wall-E. You barely have. Any dialogue. real dialogue. But see, that's the best the part first... of the film, though. That, that first yeah. segment. It kind of goes downhill but then, after that. After that, it's kind of like that's where you get the kids. This wasteland where it's lonely, but then all of a sudden there's this uh, right. actual person who he's struggling to make a relationship work with. Yeah. But then it's all about well, we gotta save the earth. And right then there's now. all these like the fat plant, people and, and jokes. And there's stuff. an evil robot who, who's trying to kill they, Earth. They, they throw a bunch of like space like a more interesting us. premise of Wally is you take the first half of Wally and then you just expand on that and it's actually you don't even leave Earth. You just keep 
Eve and Wally on Earth and like you have more of like a, a an external struggle where there's more people or just more probes sent to Earth and then you kind of you just expand on that and it's more intimate that way and you don't even have any talking. I would kill for a Wally movie remake, not remake, but just like a redux of it where it's just that there's no talking. It's just friggin' artsy with no talking, and it's Wally making noises. Why don't just with have Eve. like another one of those junk robots on like another part of the planet. Or, it just or has like I'm... no interaction with the humans at all. <laughs> the, Wally too depressing. Wally. <laughs> I mean, with the way Pixar is cranking out these sequels these days, uh... <laughs> but it wouldn't be any good if they did a sequel to friggin' Wally. I don't know. Like... Maybe maybe make it like a. Like a half hour thing. Uh, well, back to your original point though about about that. It's like the earlier ones, they weren't necessarily movies. Like I'm not saying that they should only be for adults, but they're not like the forefront of movies that are that are like appeal to just people outside of kids. They're still like Incredibles, Finding Nemo are still very kid friendly, kid appealing movies, but they were still movies that were like mature enough. And well thought out I mean, and well written enough to appeal to adults as well. I think well. it's just like the lack of interest now that doesn't get me into the in the Pixar. In, well, no, Pixar no, it's movies. just now they're like just they're up. all for kids now. Literally, yeah, because like yeah. after yeah. Up, it, it all just went downhill. Yeah, like, there's Toy no Story exactly. just, guys in that. Like I watched Toy Story three. They geared it toward like everybody, not just kids. But I didn't think that highly of it. I, I thought Toy Story three was pretty good. Uh, like, oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't as good I, as I guess, of course, but it was decent was good, but... I get that people don't like anime, but at least with, an- <laughs> like, I, we... a lot of people. No, but at least with anime, I mean, Liam doesn't like anime, period. He just doesn't like new Kid stuff, I like guess. Anime. But at least with anime, you have, like, movies that are for kids, movies that are for kids and adults, and movies that are for adults, like political spy thrillers, family dramas. Uh, you, know. you, you bemoan the restriction of Western animation. Well, the thing children. is that Western animation is its own genre instead of it being a medium to tell other genres in. Yes. The, and, then, and then animation in like other countries is just that. It's just another way to tell your story. It isn't like its own genre. You can tell any story in animation, but in Western animation, you can only tell a couple stories that appeal to a couple demographics. You can't do a political thriller that doesn't have kid elements and doesn't have a pigeon in it that's actually Will Smith or <laughs> some retarded premise like that. I don't know. Frick me. I hate I it. I mean, again, like, I think early Pixar was pushing more towards getting Do you think they would have from... gotten there if they didn't partner with Disney? Or is it, like, Illumination's fault that they just kind of followed that you know, I'll blame small. Illumination. Yeah, um, probably Illumination I think for setting kind the of trend both. at least. Both, yeah. Like, I think uh, with Disney, they were trying to model themselves after, you know, yeah. Despicable Me, whatnot, and they tried to that do even... essentially what Shrek did to Pixar, in that Shrek subverted like a lot of. Well, Pixar was a golden standard, then Shrek came out, then people tried imitating Shrek, I right? mean, Shrek is still the golden standard. <laughs> Shrek 2, <laughs> at least. How, but, yeah. It's weird how well, Shrek... Shrek 2. Shrek feel, doesn't actually feel like it's marketed towards kids, really, at all. It it just it feels just like an age-appropriate kind of comedy. It's not even a family comedy. I just, like... I'm a grown man, and I'll watch Shrek, and I don't feel like I'm in, enjoying kids' medium. I feel like hmm. I'm just watching a freaking good comedy or something. <laughs> you know? There we go. It's not like I'm sitting down to watch, like... F- well, I don't know. I don't, I don't even like Finding Nemo. Why was I going to use that as an example? Uh, you know, whatever. But Incredibles is something okay, yeah, yeah, I can always watch yeah. yes. and feel yeah. like... I, I loved it as a kid. I can love it as an adult. And those are really just solid movies. Like, yeah, and you, that was Pixar at its best, you know? When it doesn't matter if it's you're a kid or if you're an adult. If it's just good, it was just good. And you I can, mean, the rewatch like, value you can just see, matures with you. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it matures with you. Like, you can see how Incredibles is kind of marketed towards kids, but 
it's much less so than something I think like Ratatouille, uh, or, which I already went over, but with The Incredibles, it just kind of stands on its own for the most part, just as a film. It's not really intended for a specific audience group, which yeah. kind of is a problem with animation, how they want to appeal to everyone instead of specifics. I think specifics make the most interesting films when you're like the narrower your specific margin of people, the more interesting your film will be to those people. Whereas like something with sing or illumination, they're trying to appeal to everyone and everyone kind of likes it, but it just doesn't resonate strongly with those people at all. It just, they just watch it. How did you even remember sing? Because my, my little eight year old sister watches it (laughs) all the time. Well, but see that movie made like almost a billion dollars or something because everyone went to go see it. It had something for everyone in it. It's like an IGN review of movies, a little something for everyone. (laughs) That's my problem with the movie entirely. It's so it's so diluted for everyone. Distracted. Yeah, there's like no main character. There's no main arc. Except just kind of sing. It's kind of an art house movie in a way. It's so (laughs) nonlinear. It's your type of movie, I see. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll come around. I'll come around. I, I a lot to unpack. I need to rewatch it. <laughs> right wow. now it's a 6 out of 10, but oh, you no, think it no. could go like better. A, it's like a 2 out of 10 or something. <laughs> oh, no. The rain's coming down. <laughs> <sighs> Moving back to Lego Ideas, we have oh, our next oh, set is, the, is a typewriter. Oh, yeah. My sister writer. would love typewriters this. Typewriters are a thing. My sister has a typewriter. Does it work? Yes, it does. Did she I'm, use it? <laughs> yes, she does. I'm cool. thinking about the person who made this and how much of a psychopath they are. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just, I'm just a... <laughs> so, what makes some, them psychopathic? I'm just thinking like some 50-year-old guy. He hasn't eaten in like a week. Or he doesn't eat <laughs> properly. He doesn't leave his basement at all. He just what? plays with Lego right. and watches My Little Pony. And like he just oh, has no. this idea to make a Lego typewriter. Be- I don't know. Maybe he, he doesn't really know how technology works all that well or something. I don't know. Do and you he not just... know how a typewriter works? I know how to type. Uh, how a typewriter works. I'm just saying. I know how to type. I, I don't think he knows how to, like, oh, those kids and their phones or whatever, or something. Kind of a boomer, a little bit, but he's also well, trying now to it's a novelty in a really item. outdated It's not really, way. Yeah. you know, you're... Greg, Greg Farshti would love this set. Greg Farshti is the exact kind of psychopath who would make something like this. <laughs> That's who I was thinking of, yeah. We know Greg does not leave his basement at all for fear of being mugged by a rabid Bionicle fan or something. I don't know. <laughs> He doesn't want to go out to see the world just in case, you know, he, he sees a married couple somewhere. <laughs> Greg, oh, no. Greg is you know, like, oh, no, love no, doesn't no, exist no. in this universe. Gre- Greg is like, I don't need to see the world. I have a better world in my mind. <laughs> the bionicle Greg, world. No, 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 Greg really doesn't Greg is for, for fear of the people burning effigies of himself outside his house and chanting love is canon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we just all know that Greg, by this point, has written out the whole Bionicle story in its he conclusion. Just, no, and he'll he wrote, burn it. He'll burn it before he it. lets no, us read he, it. He wrote himself in it, and he is now living with the Bionicle. Can you imagine? No, ever it's after. like he has it. Like, after... He has it printed, right? <laughs> no. And then they just like all the rabid Bionicle fans wanting to know the end, just like storm his house. And he just like has a fireplace. And he's just sitting by the fireplace with the book. The in his only hand. copy. And he's just like, "You step any closer, I'll burn and it." Goes it. In. it goes in. It's like and you'll it's never like know how it ends. It's like National Treasure Two, <laughs> where he throws the page in the fire. <laughs> They're just scrambling to get it out. Or like that scene in Raiders where oh yeah, he's yeah. about to blow up the ark and. Don't you know what knowledge we can I'm gonna blow up the arc, Renee. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking more along the lines of like after Greg's dead, everyone goes through his like old bi- his bionicle papers and they find that Greg he's written himself into the story and he has like all these fan fictions between himself and other established bionicle characters. Ah! Greg X Golly. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, before we stray too much on that discussion, Greg the next set Matuda. is indeed the Bionicle set, or Here The Legend of the Bionicle, celebrating 20 years of LEGO it's... stories. Now, we have it's... talked about this one fairly extensively. Do you guys like but it? Yes, I most like it. everyone right. does. I, I don't... What is the back look like? Do they hack. show the back? Okay, yeah, they do, okay. Yeah, they, it's, it's like, a no 360 It's a diorama, but... Yeah. Do you think they'd polish it up a lot once, like... Oh, definitely. Once they get it? Because as it as it stands right now, I just... some Something about it just seems really weird. It feels like it's made off of a drawing someone paid $15 to a really low-tier artist on deviant art to make concept oh, art for. That's the vibe I get bad. from it. It's Come not... On. Yeah. No, that's the vibe I, I get how it credit. could be realized. Why but are you vibing The like vibe that? that I get from it is like $15 deviant art commission look. That's vibe pretty check. bad vibrations right there. Vibes, yeah. But I like... I don't know. It's it's. I, I'm just not on board with the hype, but I I kind of do hope it wins because it would be interesting to see it more realized. But as it stands, I'm not going to pretend just, like I, I think want, it's a. I just want to buy an amazing set, set or yeah. something. It it's it's cool. Uh, it's like a diorama that shows you know a lot of it. But I mean, I want I, that I fight really scene. Like <laughs> his conceptualization I've of like those the robots masks. forever. Yeah, no, yeah, that, the that's like figures. the best part easily, and that's why everyone wants this set. They don't really want it for anything else outside of it, I imagine. Yeah, I, remember, I want the mask right, of life added, and the minifigures that it's going to come with. Yeah, he means, added the. Uh, it's he what a um, minifigure. It's. Patoro, I'm not saying the guy who made Tahu, this didn't put effort into it. I'm okay. <laughs> Let wait, me just say that um, I don't think he like just oh, made name. it like. Right. Yeah. Oh, Ryan, you do know the designer is on our Discord, right? Who designed it? <laughs> Sokota. I don't know who that is. that is. Watermark is everywhere. <laughs> did, he, did he donate to our Patreon? Uh, no. No, no, I'm not, sure no, more. no, I'm not saying he didn't put a lot of work into it. I'm just, I'm just saying that's the vibe that I, not the vibe that he didn't put work into. I'm just saying it gives off a different vibe than the work he put into it. I just hope it's more fully realized once, or if it gets in as the final project. Oh no, I don't see Sokota on our current Discord. Huh. Oh. He heard well, me. He was on the last one. I know. He was. The, um, oh, the Battle Cats server. Yes, the Battle Cats. <laughs> Battle server. Cats. I still, I'm still getting DMs from people. It's like, is this the BCC server? Same. <laughs> Why don't you just leave it? I oh, that's it. Okay, that's true. I'm but it. I like the Mario and Penguin, you know, picture that we got for it. So <laughs> I, I'm sticking around. But, so you got, I don't know. Yeah, I like it, kind of. I don't, no, not really. I don't know. It's okay. But yeah, we we have talked about it pretty extensively in the past. So I think Orion's the only one who needed to get his piece in. Yeah, so, that was my piece. All right. Oh, piece. hey, my piece. Get it? Oh, uh, 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 it's le- uh, you know Lego. It's p- Lego pieces. Har. The oh, second that part, really made me my bust a part, gut. you know, the Who is Car is a set, right? The what? That... The Hoss Car. You know what is the house ship? The host. What is what is that? It's a. This is the, ship. made by the same psychopath who made the typewriter. It, the 2,990 like ship is based on the real-life one that was built in 1865 and was on Peru's Navy. It served you, on a few missions, including the War of the Pacific and the Battle of Anagamos. Or Angamos. You know, I, I don't know how to properly articulate why, but I feel like there is an incredibly strong similarity between weeaboos and history buffs. <laughs> and I, I don't know how to explain my reasoning behind that, but just I it just resonates with me deeply that connection between the two. Wow. It's like, you know, you have a waifu body pillow and then the other guy has like a, a house or house car body pillow of the ship or something. <laughs> Same what energy. Say he has I don't like know. a model ship no. or a ship in a bottle or something like that. <laughs> No, one has an anime girl in a bottle. The other one has a ship in a bottle. 
to, to correlate. <laughs> But I don't, I don't know. Moving on. No, they're the type of people you go into a Discord and they're just you, like, no one's like, it's like the meme. Nobody history buffs out of just friggin' nowhere. The house house car by it uh, is was the ship in World War Two that did this obscure German mission. And I really like the Germans, by the way. They have great battle tactics, great facial <laughs> hair. They, you know, they're pretty misunderstood as well. But I'm getting off topic. I'm, what about this battleship? <laughs> It's pristine, uh, uh, elegant, the curves of the battleship. It just it resonates with me. We are talking about a battleship here, right? Oh, I forgot this was a, like a Lego server. I'm sorry if I'm spouting <laughs> you trivia you or something. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? No, I don't, but that's what quoting, history buffs uh, are like. And then like it's like weeaboos will just, out of nowhere, they'll just start talking about how much they love Japan. And like uh, aren't anime, you and literally stuff. just basing your correlation off the one person who was both a history buff and a weeaboo. Yes, because I have inter- <laughs> because unlike you people, or uh, yeah, I I interact with all these friggin' weirdos across the internet, and yeah, there is a huge correlation between the history buff and the and the anime fan. <laughs> um, I don't know. They they both usually have autism or something. I don't know. Hold Moving on. on. Yeah. We have the Winter Chalet. Or Chalet. 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 Uh, chalet. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Yes. I should see if my uh, French physics professor likes this set. I don't think this set is going to get voted in because it's too similar to, like, the gingerbread house that came out. It's too French. Yeah. It's too French. <laughs> It, it's it looks more sweet white than on it uh it looks too right? much like one of their winter village sets and yeah i don't know it's pretty it's pretty well put together though you i know. mean it looks nice yeah but i just wouldn't count on it being something that can stand you know it, it's not something i would put on shelf uh, on shelf for a year you know it's got to have that lasting appeal well, it's not winter anymore, so... Actually, it's technically still winter right now. No. Nope. But... New year, new season. This is indetermined. Right. Right. So, then we got the Toronto Rocket subway trade. I like trains. Oh, boy. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, no, That's that. actually a huge this correlation like... between history buffs, anime fans, and like oh train my people. Goodness, actually, the train people are end. friggin' weird. <laughs> Those are weird people. People who like trains, I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand the appeal of trains any more than no, you do. No, it's like but... people who are like super into trains. It so... freaks me out actually a little bit thinking about it. Like, why do you like trains so much? I mean, like trains are cool, but. I wouldn't, you know. And then, like, you add, you sprinkle in that, you know, that cool. Thomas the Trank Engine a little bit there. Trank it's, Engine. It's, Trank it's, Engine. It's, <laughs> Trank Engine. It's, I'm sorry, I threw up like a half hour ago on Lisping <laughs> or something. But you sprinkle that in there, it just adds another level of Thomas weird gonna on top of it. Tom is going to knock you out, son. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like this set. Um,. Uh, this is just like you know a regular train set, which we already get. So why does it have cops. to? Yeah. Also, my personal thing with it really is the uh, like renders on the minifigures. Like yeah, they, they're like customs or just not real minifigure prints, and it disturbs me because they look terrible. Uncanny. <laughs> if you're having minifigure. this kind of modeling after all the pristine like renders we've had and like handmade models this one oh my the one with the mustache oh no it's very old i kind of need to trim guys needs to trim off his head and yeah all right well here comes something interesting the uh, home alone set <laughs> Hey, you no. pal. <laughs> no, man. Is there a Joe Pesci minifigure for this? Uh, I don't think... Are there minifigs in this? 
Oh, I mean, there probably will figures. be, but Kevin, Harry, if, if this does get passed, which not sure it, it will. It needs traps. Yeah, the, the, the description traps? mentions th the three minifigures. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh, yeah. Kevin, Harry, and Marv. Yeah. Right yeah. There. Which is all you need. Yeah, but really. it does have traps in it, right? I'm sure it does. It needs, what it would needs it be to be cut in half. Traps? Yeah, including traps. Oh, it, it opens up. Uh, oh, okay. They cut it in half somewhere along the line. Wow, this looks like together. an actual cross section of a real house. It's pretty neat. I will not lie. I mean, yeah, it is. It's really very, cool, but very meticulous. I don't think that it'll get past just because Christmas stuff usually yeah. doesn't go well with ideas. I don't think. Just like the winter chalet. And I feel like <laughs> making it into a refined set. It just it would take too much brain power really to to make it more interesting because as it stands it's just kind of a house you don't i don't think there are any traps or any unique features in it it's just a house right yeah yeah it's it's really well designed but again well, i just the, don't again see they it. did say they had the traps in there but you know other than that it's like why are we becoming obsessed with traps but okay although admit it that you'd be very tempted to buy this set if they had uh, um wait if they Marv had the joe sm pesci mi minifigure yeah the joe pesci minifigure but the, they have a very special printing on his hand piece and it's the the mcallister logo that's that... no wow <laughs> what you wouldn't um, get that i mean that would be cool you know but but still <laughs> <clears throat> If they bring back Indiana Jones and they do that with the, the <laughs> staff of Raw, Arnold Tote, you know him? Yeah. yeah. Mm. If they do that, then then you got me. So. But not Joe Pesci. Not Joe Pesci? It's not feeling What about Joe Pesci? an Irishman set? Yeah, give me an Irishman set. No. Have you even seen the Irishman, Leo? I have not, but I feel like I have based on hearing Ryan talk about it. That's like saying you watched Gotti hearing about Orion. I basically did. <laughs> I no. have seen Gotti. No, you did We there, saw it. No, it's you don't want to see it. Like what you would expect. <laughs> we need ever. a Gotti Lego idea yeah. set. <laughs> Didn't you look that up? And there was no results. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And then I guess uh, finally we have the. Uh, clockwork aquarium you know there's a strong correlation between people who like aquariums a lot oh and, and not no, again oh and people who like fish i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> and people I mean, i'm not feeling this set working internal mechanism that makes the fish swim about i think it's pretty quaint it's i mean it's, it's quaint, quaint but I, I don't need quaint right now i need you know, big things, big ideas, big... I need hmm, Bionicle. Big idea. Uh, I'm putting my foot down I on need VeggieTale Legos, okay? There, there was a... Wasn't there a VeggieTales Lego set proposed? There was Sesame Street Legos. Okay. What? Well, I haven't seen VeggieTales yet. The big ideas had a ton of, like, their own merchandise for... Uh, oh, they had the coolest stuff when I was a kid that I really wanted and never got. I got the... <laughs> the Larry got, Mobile like, is like the ultimate kid's toy for me. We yeah. had that, uh, but it got like really beat up. Well, yeah, probably because you were playing with it a whole time. It's like the wheels would pop off and the wings would yeah, spring out uh, and you would eject like, Larry Boy out. And stuff. The, uh... <laughs> co the windshield broke off, I think, at some point. <laughs> Larry. A ton of, like, the at least two collision. wheels were always missing. A big one in the back and a small one in the front. No more, <laughs> no less. Larry boy, his paint was all scratched up. Oh, uh, yeah, mine was... My too. <laughs> he was just, like, scratched beyond repair. Just <laughs> couldn't even tell it was Larry. We also Lovely. had this, like, uh, Larry the Cucumber foam thing you'd stick on your uh, car antenna. But 
One day it just uh, flew off our car and we never saw it again. <laughs> just imagine driving behind uh, and, uh, behind some guy that this foam Larry boy just smacks in front of your windshield. Uh, uh, yeah. I could talk all day about all the big idea stuff I had back in the day, but... Mm. Did you have you the know. big idea of video games? I like, played one of the Minnesota Cube games, and yeah. it was like... He was hopping along, and there were a bunch of monkeys, and you had to, like, kill them. I Yeah, that, I, uh, I I had I had that. I, I still have it, actually. <laughs> Dude, we gotta boot that you, up. Wait, you didn't... Bring it down this week. Okay. And... Well, I, I don't know if it still works, though. Wait, you, you never... Liam you, you can didn't make it like work, it? okay? You didn't like it? I, I didn't say... Did you get to finish it? Did you ever finish it? I don't think so because we borrowed it from a friend. It, it wasn't like we owned it. It's just like, oh, take the CD w- home with you, play it a well, bit. When you go back over to your friends, you, you give uh, it back. I remember I, I got mine because, the, yeah, this is the first video game my parents ever bought me. And I like, begged them to get me a video game. But we, it was because we were at like a, I can't remember where we were, somewhere. It was like a bookstore maybe or something. But um, that's generally where you'd find a lot of the uh, big idea stuff. But the thing the is that the thing is that yeah. it was right next to this. Oh, what was it? it? Was like a Bible series thing that was really popular at the time. What was it? Bible man? Is that what you were thinking of? No, not Bible man. It, no, it was it was like <laughs> it was like something about kids going back in time and learning Bible lessons or something. I don't uh, know. Oh, that, that's Odyssey yeah. something. Yeah, Odyssey, the Odyssey one or whatever. And I, I was like, I was begging them, Adventure please, for Odyssey, the lo- yeah. literally for the love of God, Mom, please don't get me that one. I want the VeggieTales one. It looks much cooler. And <laughs> they got me that one. Uh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it turned you into the man you are now. It turned me into a veggie weeb. Hey, Mom, can we have the VeggieTales Odyssey? No, we have the VeggieTales Odyssey at home. Add VeggieTales <laughs> Odyssey at home. <laughs> well, and then, and then there was... Just uh, an the, actual cucumber. <laughs> there was the mystery of Veggie Island, which I can't remember the the plot of it. I just know that the guy... who Who's who's the who's the guy who plays Randolph in Lord of the Beans? He's like... Oh, oh, Nebuch- so, Nebuch- it, yeah, he was Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Who is that guy? What was What's his that, name? Mr. Nezzer. Uh, Mr. That, Nezzer. That's his... <laughs> yeah log descendant from the line of Neb- but he had a he had like this weird soul-sucking vacuum machine under the island or something and it <laughs> and there was like a, also a secret pirate ship with cursed gold on it wow. i i can't remember there's so much about that game that was weird but. it's a shame i never got into veggie tales there's a lot of hardcore stuff that's dark well, okay about we're gonna talk about veggie tales though remember when big idea dot com was a thing and didn't suck remember that mm. the games when they like, had all the good stuff the like the uh larry boy and the alchemist or whatever that was that was the <laughs> that was the best uh what what there is also like the 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 endless running game kind of where your bobs on a surfboard or something that was rad man that was rad man i mean if you go in the way back i know the wayback machine is terrible for games but theoretically we could go I, back the, the, to veggie the sad tales. part is that no one cared enough about veggie tales to download those games and then republish them like for bionicle i don't think you can play those anymore anywhere veggiemediaproject.com yeah we need that really badly oh. <laughs> there was also veggie tetris you remember that no. No, all the veg, all the veggie characters. They would. It was just like Tetris. They would just slide down, and then you you would try to like, you know, get them to do the Tetris thing. <laughs> That's why I assumed Veggie Tail Tetris would be. But... Yeah. No, I'm lying. It was just like Pac Man. They just called it Tetris for no reason. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. so little ideas, guys. Uh, yeah, the the aquarium sucks. <laughs> so which of well, these do you? It's not that it sucks. It's just pass. it isn't very interesting or like cool enough to be a Lego design. Yeah. Uh, so so which of these do you want to pass? 
Bionicle. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes. Can I choose multiple options? I mean, usually two or three pass, don't they? In which Are case, I will choose two or that? three, which I would like to pass. Bionicle, and Zelda, Zelda, and uh, Home Alone. Mm. Was really Home those, Alone? I think, or... <laughs> okay. I, I'd like it to pass. Okay, it's. I don't think it would pass. But I aren't would like you the it one to. who wants Joe Pesci as a minifigure? Yeah, I just realistically, I don't think it has a chance at all. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think. Yeah, it doesn't have a Wh- chance. Which one has the most votes? Do we know? It doesn't matter about votes at this point. This is the review stage. Lego is looking over what they want to actually produce. Okay, so it's actually probably just going to be down between Zelda and Bionicle then. Because because with Bionicle, Lego already has the rights for that. They don't have to go to Nintendo. Right. So that actually but probably Nintendo gives Bionicle Nintendo and edge. Lego would have really sweet deal if they actually, you know, tied the knot. Mm. I'm thinking they might mm. give it to the typewriter. What or a bunch of psychopaths! <laughs> or the aquarium. No. But Bionicle, guys, no brainer. Let's Breath go. of the Wild is a better set than the Bionicle one, but the Bionicle one is just a lot more interesting, I guess. It's just so much more meaningful. So much more impactful. Yeah, because you're a Bionicle yes. fan. Imagine if, like me, you despise Bionicle. You don't. I hate Bionicle. Them. I hate it. You don't hate ah, it. You don't despise it. It's the it. thing that brought us all together. It's not you Lego. I hate thing that will it's, tear us all look, apart. Listen, it's not Lego. I hate, and it's not even Bionicle that I hate. It's the people that like either of those <laughs> things. That I hate. like you. So us. Well, I hate myself. That's <laughs> <laughs> how the turntable. Talk about this. Hmm. I really hope neither of the Seinfeld or the the Queen one wins. If, if either of those win, I would rather the typewriter win over the Seinfeld one. Because at least someone's <laughs> He's spent... come full circle. Yeah, like maybe they're on to something with the typewriter here. Why does Ford? Why do you think they'll give it to the typewriter? Because it's just like a very interesting novel concept. I yeah. think for a, a Lego set. It is. I mean, like, no. ship in a bottle and pop up book. Yeah. Like, it's kind of those like are that. so yeah, those weird. Those are, like, a lot more cool. That you to look have at. to do them this as Lego sets. A, it's a typewriter. How about, how about the maze? I've never seen a typewriter. Remember, that, remember I've the seen maze? One, but the thing, the thing is that. Okay, here, let me put it to you this way. When you see a typewriter lying on a shelf, you're, you're not drawn to it at all. You don't go over to look at it. It just collects dust and smells weird and looks terrible. But, okay, you got a, a, a real pirate ship in a bottle. You can put that on your mantle. People look at it. It looks aesthetically pleasing. It's nice. It's a nice, round, friendly shape, you know. Typewriter, ugly, black, triangular villain shape. It's not cool. <laughs> So the thing is that what's interesting in real life is also interesting in Lego, and the typewriter is just not interesting at all. It's about the interest in the challenge of making the typewriter. No one's gonna. It's not the, buy this. And it's like, not the destination. It's, it's the journey. It's an. It's going. There. It has a very neat mechanism. Yeah. Does it work? Well, the interesting I yes. think it well, does. You turn the crank, I think, and then you type it. Cool. Like, it I, has five levers on it that move up and down theoretically if you dipped it in ink would it type <laughs> it, you would type in morse letters, code or braille, or braille or yeah something. probably in braille <laughs> braille <laughs> okay all right well i don't know maybe but even then it's just you're not gonna sit there and just play type on it i'm sorry mom i don't really want to do video games anymore i'm gonna go play with my lego <laughs> typewriter replica <laughs> Listen, if you need something to fidget while company is around, you know, just, just start. Sit there, pull out your Lego. No, no, Mom, listen, I'm tired of playing Minnesota Cute. I'm done. I'm pulling out my typewriter. It's like a, or no, it's like. It's like you take it you, out You pull out your party. typewriter in the middle of a conversation with all these people, start typing yeah. on it, and it's like, man, I wanted to get a fidget spinner, but I thought this looked much better to control my anxiety yeah. and ADHD. <laughs> it's like, don't mind type- me. I'm just on my new Lego typewriter. Yeah. 
Mm. This totally isn't shitting for Lego. Re- <laughs> Reggie's like, okay, that's enough for today. I've got to get back to typing on my Lego typewriter. <laughs> I can- <laughs> Man, this Lego typewriter is just the bomb diggity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's it. Just make everything. Bionicle happen, would you? Yeah, well, no, uh, uh, well, We'll see. We'll see. Any closing thoughts that aren't completely off topic? Uh, I'm sorry if I called anyone autistic. <laughs> it was in the heat of the moment. It was a gamer moment. I'm sorry. We all make mistakes and leave the passion, Jimbo. I Don't was... ever apologize for Statistically, what you Statistically, though, passion. the amount of people I've met who really, really <laughs> like anime and also really, really like history tend to be but i didn't mean to call anyone who likes those things autistic okay I mean, you could also i'm sorry like history or homeschool well a lot of homeschoolers are autistic like there's just no getting around that they're, they're... <laughs> <laughs> all right well on that note <laughs> we should wrap it up so for ford leo myself and orion we thank you for listening and we will see you on the next episode oh, dang, buddy. it's raining really hard